We are given two circles resting on the same line. The smaller one touches the larger one externally. A straight line is drawn from the top of the larger circle through the point of contact down to the baseline. The length of the cord of the bigger circle is 16 units and the length of the cord of the smaller circle is 9 units. We are to find the area of the bigger circle. To find the area of the bigger circle, we know that the area of a circle equals to pi r squared. So we have to find the radius of the bigger circle before we can find the area of the bigger circle. Now, to find the radius of the bigger circle, let us name these points. This point A, here B, and here C. C is the point where the two circles touch each other externally. Then this point D, where the big circle touches the tangent line. So the next thing we will do is to find the length of DB, which is tangent to this circle, as well as the circle. To find out the length of line DB, we will use a tangent second theorem, which says that if DB is tangent to the larger circle at D, and BA is a second line that intersects the circle at point C, then the square of DB will be equal to the product of BA and BC. So here we can write BD squared equals to BC times BA. BD squared equals to 9 times 25. So we find the square root of both sides. So BD will be equal to the square root of 9 is 3 and the square root of 25 is 5. So BD will be equal to 3 times 5, which is 15. So BD is 15. Next, we will draw a tangent line to these two circles at point C. The tangent will join this line BD. Let us call that point E. We will also draw a line from D to C. So this figure is a triangle. Now, what we will do here is to prove that this angle at point C is a right angle. So here, we will use two tangent theorem. It states that if we have two tangents from an external point to a circle, then the length of the tangents will be equal. So here, we have two tangents from point E to this circle, tangents EB and tangents EC that will have the same length. So here, these two line segments will be the same. Similarly, we have two tangents from point E to this bigger circle, tangent ED and tangent EC. So these line segments will be equal. These tangents will also be equal. So here, we have two smaller triangles, triangle DEC and triangle BEC. Look, and this triangle, here, these two sides are equal, so their opposite angle will also be equal. Suppose this angle is x, then this angle will also be x. For triangle CEB, here, these two sides are equal, so their opposite side will also be equal. Suppose this angle is y, so this angle will also be y. And we also know that the sum of all angles in a triangle is equals to 180 degrees. So let's add up x plus x plus y plus y equals to 180. So 2x plus 2y be equals to 180. So we have, we bring out the lightness, we have 2 bracket x plus y equals to 180. We divide both sides by 2. So x plus y equals to 90 degrees. So here, this angle is the sum of x and y it is 90, a right angle triangle. And we also know that the angles on a straight line are always 180. So here, this angle is 90 degrees. So this angle will also be 90 degrees. So here, we join point A with point D. But here, this triangle ADB is a right angle triangle. AD here will be the diameter of this circle. This is because by tangent theorem, if we have a triangle in a semicircle such that the bigger side 
is the diameter of the circle, then its opposite side will be 90 degrees or a right angle. So we have 90 degrees here, so this side is the diameter of this circle. Now here, the angle at point D will be a right angle. This is because the diameter of a circle is always perpendicular to the tangent line. But here, this triangle ADB is a right angle triangle. Now, we will try to find out the length of AD, which is the diameter of this circle. This is a right angle triangle, so we will apply Pythagoras theorem in order to find the value of AD. Hypotenuse is AB. The base is BD and the height is AD. So, let us solve. AB is 25, BD is 15, and AD is the unknown. So, applying Pythagoras theorem, we have 25 squared equals to 15 squared plus AD squared. 25 squared will be 625 equals to... 15 squared is 225 plus AD squared. So, AD squared will be equal to 625 minus 225. AD squared will be equal to 400. We square both sides, so AD equals to 20. So, the diameter of this circle is 20 units. So, if diameter is 20, then the radius will be half of 20, which is 10. So, the radius of this circle is 10 units. Now that we have gotten the radius, let us go ahead and find the area of the big circle. Area equals to pi r squared. So, area will be equal to pi times 10 squared. Area equals to pi times 100 or 100 pi. So, when we substitute the value of pi, which is 3.14, we have area equals to 314 units. So the area of this big circle is 100 pi or 314 units. If you have gained value in this lesson, kindly subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you for watching. Bye.